And now, Reformer802.com Real Talk blogger Shanta asks you to ponder this. I was at a local establishment about a month ago with a friend, and during the midst of our conversation, she said, but Shanta, it's gotten worse. She was talking about everything that was happening with the police brutality in our country, Ferguson, New York, and many other places around the country. In response to her statement, I promptly responded, but for some people in the country, the reality has always been the case. Worse than what exactly? Many injustices have always been taking place, especially towards groups of color. Our conversation continued as I talked about the different layers of reality. She was arguing that part of what has gotten worse is the fact that people are outraged. She was arguing that part of what has gotten worse is the fact that people are outraged, but the action behind the outrage was lacking, especially with a recent court decision that failed to bring justice to a police brutality situation that included a filmed evidence of the incident. To her, law enforcement seemed to now be above the law that was supposed to be following or exacting. However, as a woman of color, that has always been my reality. Whether I was driving on the road at night and got pulled over or spotting a state trooper in my rearview mirror, I automatically felt guilty for crimes that never occurred. Always adjusting my hands to the three and nine position on the steering wheel, turning down the music and making sure that my speed was impeccable, all the while my heart threatening to come out of its internal cage. If I were actually pulled over, I automatically did whatever tap dance I needed to do to illustrate that I recognized their authority. Sometimes this is not always successful. There was one time in New Haven that I took a right turn on red light. I was preparing to go into my office building and suddenly I found myself surrounded by two officers. One was on my driver's side and the other one was on my passenger side. I nervously started talking to the one on the sidewalk, but he sternly directed me to the officer who was standing on my driver's side window. During these moments and many other future ones that have not occurred yet, they were above the law, or at least in my eyes. This pondering is not about bashing police officers or making the claim that they all abuse power, but it is an attempt to illustrate that the fact that what we are seeing or experiencing is not so much new. The only thing that may be new about it is our speedy exposure to injustice, and in other cases, our speedy exposure to violence. So does one get outraged about the same storyline, or sadly, does it become the recognizable backdrop under the guise of a different day.